Hello and welcome back to the GeForce IT Service Academy once again. This is the lesson 15 in the creation of our school management system. And in our previous lesson, we started designing our user form as you can see on your screens like this. So in this lesson, we are not going to waste much time. We will continue to add more things to our user form here. So if you are new to the channel, kindly subscribe to the channel. Make sure that you turn on the notification bell for all so that you receive the rest of the lessons from us on this channel all right so without wasting much time let's quickly go to labels so let's come to the last one here contact we need to add a label here we need to add a label here okay so let's just maintain it like that let's go to buttons let's go to buttons we need to add a particular button there so you tap on the button uh, symbol there then you bring it to this side you left click and hold then you drag it to the last end like this okay so command button so let's come to the caption here double tap and let's name it to add photo sorry let's just clear everything okay add photo like that so you just hit enter on your keyboard so we have that uh, button there so now let's try to close the, the the frame here a little bit let's try to close the frame here a little bit okay so let's maintain it that way now we need another frame we need another frame to use so let's come to frame here let's come to frame here then we take away the option the, the, the two box there that two box is what is helping us to insert our various buttons our labels and stuffs so let's just drag this frame to the last end like this so we have our frame there up and running now inside the frame we are going to add a list box we are going to insert a list box so without wasting much time let's quickly come to the toolbox here then we select list box like that so you place it here you drag it from that side to the last end here to fit well into the the frame that we just inserted into the onto the user form so now let's click on the user form itself please when you are doing it make sure that you have a space where you can click to rename this particular uh, frame as well so let's come to caption here then let's name it let's rename it to students details so students detail good so we have that one to the so the name is appearing at the down here okay now after inserting this one we need some buttons to be at the bottom here those buttons are are going to help us to operate our system so let's go to buttons again so we will not even waste much time let's come to this button here let's just delete that one then let's come to this one here Control c to copy Control v to paste so we bring it to the down here we bring it to the bottom here we want to reduce the size a little bit good i think that one is cool so let's just try to reduce it a little bit so let's maintain that one so let's control c to copy control v to paste so we bring it to the bottom here again then we position it there nicely control c to copy control v to paste then we come to this one too we have that one too there now we need three buttons at this side so the next thing that you're going to do is to insert another text box so let's come to the last text box that we used here so control c to copy then control v to paste then we move it to the bottom here 
we are going to use this bottom to be searching for sorry we are going to use this text box to be searching for details in our system now let's come to this button again Control c to copy Control v to paste so we put that one to here you place it there nicely then Control c to copy Control v to paste again so we have our buttons up and running on the form here so let me bring that one to this side a little bit then this one also to this side a little bit then i think the test box must also move to that side a little bit let's try to move this one to like this then we move this one to a little bit let's bring this one to to that side again then we move this one a little bit i think this is cool so let's maintain it like that let's maintain it like that this one to to this side a little bit i think we are having some nice design here okay so we have our buttons at the top there now we need to rename all this we need to rename all the buttons so you tap on it and let's go to caption so the first one that you are going to do is add and save so this button is going to add and save details into the school management system then this second button is going to reset everything in the system so that is going to be our reset button so let's change the caption to reset like that then we come to this one we change it to close so when we click on that button we should be able to close the system so close then we come to this one that button is supposed to search for details in the system so we click on the caption then we write search good then the last button here is to help us update our system so we click on the caption then we rename it update update the system so we have our buttons here up and running so now let's try to do some necessary formatting here so select the first one then you press control and hold then we select the other one too okay so let's make it simple here just left click and hold select all these then we go to font let's go to font and do the necessary adjustment there so now let's come to times new roman select it times new roman like that then we want it to be bold then we want the font size to be 10 so after that you click on ok so we have our buttons there i hope you can see the changes there okay so let's come to this ones too here the update button and then the search button so let's go to font then let's select the times new roman as usual then we bold it then we change the font size to 10 then we have this so let's try to change the font size to 12 and see what will happen good so let's come and select these ones too and let's change the font size to 12 to 12 like this so that is that we don't want this video to be long so we would like to end this video here and continue in the next lesson so please don't forget to subscribe to the channel don't forget to turn on the notification bell for all as you wait for the next video